everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm pretty excited because I got a package in the mail today. And this comes from HTM Workshops, a friend of mine, Brian Bell. He uh, he runs the HTM Workshop um, website and YouTube channel. I'm going to leave a link in the video description below. He has been working on this project for a little while now. And this is the final phase of, of release. He sent me uh, one of the first ones off the shelf so that I could take a look at it and show you guys because this is a cool project. If you are looking to get into HTM uh, or biomed, stuff like this, get your get your interest up. I, I, I have not seen it, I have not seen a prototype yet. All I know is that this is some sort of ECG simulator that you can build, you can build it yourself. What is not to love about that? And, and other than that, I have no real idea what it is. So let's go ahead and check it out. First off, I love the fact that he's got his own bags. HTM Workshop, he's got his own bags. How cool, way ahead of me and, and uh, all the stuff that I've been doing for my business. Um, the fact that he's already got his stuff labeled and it's a fantastic wrap. Okay, oh my gosh, yes. Holy cow. Okay, so there's there's two items in here. So one of them, uh, I believe, is a, a ECG simulator, and the other one is an ECG reader. Okay? Uh, let's see. Okay. So, htmworkshop.com. Very cool. And it says, let's engineer healthcare together. That's a lot of investment into... Uh, you know, packaging and stuff. That's very cool. Okay, and immediately uh, opening up, it says, Hi, we have a ton of resources to help you engineer healthcare with our kits. Please check out the resources on our website and videos to help you build your own electrocardiogram device. It says, Video of software installation and website educational resources. He's using QR codes. You guys know I love QR codes uh, because there's so much you can do with them. At the very bottom, it says, if you run into any issues, you can get support. Contact at htmworkshop.com. Let's engineer healthcare together. And it says, Brian, with HTM Workshop. How cool is that? How cool is that? All right. So this one here is going to be, uh, I believe, the ECG simulator. Uh, let's talk about everything that comes in the box. First off, I have some ECG electrodes. Um, I have a very unique, very cool... ECG three lead set with a uh, 3.5 millimeter um, stereo plug. All right, what is this? This is uh, one of this is a little module. And one of the coolest things about modern day uh, hobby electronics is that you can do a lot of stuff with modules. Uh, this is a nano computer. There you go. There's a little nano, um, very neat. So this is an entire computer on a chip and um, you can program it, you can tell it what you wanna do, which I assume um, either we are gonna do because it says uh, video software install or it might already have instructions programmed on it. No idea. Let's see. Yeah, okay. very cool, beautiful. Everything, the packaging is really nice. Um, I like how everything is in its own little box and everything came in almost perfect condition. Uh, so this one here is a bag of some resistors. I have a little timer, I believe. Um, so there's two IC chips in this one and a little capacitor. And then I have a micro USB, mini USB. Very cool. That's probably to program the device, I would assume. And let's, oh, let's go ahead and take a look at this board. Right, let's see. I don't want to bend anything. So I will admit the, the packaging on this is really good. It's really good. Um, because nothing is damaged, and I appreciate that. 
a lot of these hobby kits that you buy online and stuff, they are going to be damaged. Okay, so here we have our 3.5 millimeter female jack and our circuit board. We've got a couple risers that is for the nano and two of the IC risers. And these are just uh, push in insertable. And we have one little potentiometer, uh, probably for adjusting the gain, is what I would assume. The circuit board is fantastic quality. Fantastic. It's a white PCB. It's rather thick, much thicker than a lot of the PCBs that we get um, with hobby kits. And I'm looking at the traces, and it's a multi layer board. Uh, traces are different on both sides. So that's how he was able to do it. He did it with a multi layer board. Very cool. So neat. Um, the through holes look fantastic, uniform. Um, I always say that the screen printing is almost perfect. That's beautiful. Looks really good. Okay. So that would be the ECG reader. So this is the ECG reader. And I, it, apparently you're gonna hook it up to a laptop computer and it's going to show the ECG waveform on the computer. That is even cooler. Very cool indeed. And it's not that complex of a kit, which I love because um, a lot of the work is being done by the Nano and by the ICs instead of using uh, resistor networks and gain amplifiers. Okay, so this one here should be, what the, this one here should be the ECG emitter. Okay, well, it comes with a pack of interstate batteries. Instructions, instructions, we good? Okay, so this one here has got some bubble wrap. Okay, very unique, I like that, okay. So this right here is the power source for the board, and it goes to a female USB-A. Hmm. Yep, three AA batteries. Okay, so um, these are gonna be your ECG leads, and they already have a pin at one end, so they're already terminated, very cool. And they have gator clips on the second side. We have another USB cord. Take a look. Let's take a look at the kit. Whoa. Okay, so this one definitely has more components. So I got the sticky side of the bag right here. Some of the components want to stick to the adhesive on the bag. So guys, just be weary. See how I'm, I'm keeping all the stuff on my desktop. Don't ever throw away your packaging for any of these uh, do-it-yourself soldering kits until you are completely done with the project because the little components can stay inside your bag and it's a burden. So we have another uh, little nano, very cool. I have uh, some screw down terminals. Two of the risers, to which uh, one of my risers is slightly bent, but that's okay. I just fixed it. Um, so it was just one pin that was bent. So these are the two risers for the Nano. I have, oh, very cool. Wow. I don't know if I've seen one like that. It's a switch, a selectable switch. And this one here, okay. So this is a uh, dual dual pole single throw switch. It's tiny. Oh wow. Okay. So we have uh, two more. So we have a total of three little selectable switches. Wow, those are so small. Very cool. I, I'm excited to see like how you can affect the uh, waveform with the little switches. 
All right, so I've got uh, a selection of resistors, and they are marked. Um, a lot of the Chinese kits, they they aren't even marked. Like right here, I can see that these are 10 kilo ohms. Um, when in doubt, you can always use a calculator, or like I showed in one of my previous videos, you can use the the Google Lens app, and you can look at resistors with the with the camera, and tell how big the resistor is. How cool is that? more resistors and more resistors very cool very cool two capacitors and we have an LED let's take a look at that board so now we have a black PCB multi-layer just like the last one definitely a few more components on there Excellent board, very thick. All the through holes are uniform. Looks wonderful. All right, I'm very excited, guys. Um, oh, how cool, I didn't even open up the instruction book. I should have done that first. Okay, so when you go in, it gives you an itemized list of all your resistances on your resistors. None of the Chinese do-it-yourself kits have that. I really appreciate that, that they broke it down into the parts list, what I should have in the box. And if it's not in the box, I can buy it and I can have it regardless. So that is what it's gonna look like. Uh, full color photos. I dig it, I really dig it. Okay, well guys, so that is my ECG reader and simulator and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to build these i'm going to do a whole separate video on them thanks brian i'm i'm i really dig it man this is the future when it comes to education yes it's ecg it's it, it's just one little thing of what we do but this is how you spark interest in the people that want to get into this career field and if you're in this career field this is also how you perfect your skills i do still think that soldering is a mandatory skill for biomeds you never know when you're going to need it and when you do need it it's always best to be good at it because you never know what you're going to be working on so what a cool solution brian this is very innovative i dig it i'm going to do another video where i build them and then i test them out all right guys i've taken enough of your time thanks for watching hope you like this check out the links in the video description where i will have the links so that you can check out these cool kits